<laughs> Hello, I'm in my lavender pantsuit again, and today I'm going to the Bangwon Art Museum to see an exhibition called Botticelli and the Renaissance. Now its posters are everywhere in the city, and they've been whispering to me, "Hey, you have to see this. Hey, you have to see this. Hey, you have to see. You have to see this. 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 See this." So. I've done some research online in the hope that I won't be totally lost at the exhibition. Now, here we go. This exhibition features 48 paintings by the masters of the Renaissance on loan from the Uffizi galleries in Italy. And 10 of them are by the famous Florentine artist Sandro Botticelli. But do you know that Botticelli is actually just his nickname? The National Gallery in London says, the artist was born Alessandro di Mariano Filippi, but he was given the nickname Botticelli, derived from Botticello, meaning small wine cask. This could be a conversation starter. Have you seen small wine casks work? What's that? Tell me more about it. Look at this label. Dan cai hua. Dan. Egg. What does egg have to do with painting? I looked for the art term on Tate's official website. It is actually tempera, a technique of painting with pigments bound in a water-soluble emulsion, such as water and egg yolk. It is usually applied to a rigid support, such as a wood panel. The difference between tempera and oil painting is that when tempera dries, it has a matte finish, while oil painting gives you a shiny, glossy finish. The executive director of the Bangwon Art Museum recommended that I should take a close look of this painting called Palace and the Centaur. Just like Potticelli's many other paintings, this painting also includes mythological subjects. Look at this half-man, half-horse creature. He's being dragged by the hair. It, it reminded me of a parent trying to stop his or her child from being naughty. Well, I'm curious about the real meaning of the painting. I'm going to find Mr. Xie. Xie Dong, hello. Hey, hello, hello. Welcome to the museum. I want to ask you, what is the meaning of this painting? The meaning of the painting is that the painting represents the Dalai Lama. The painting of the Dalai Lama represents the Dalai Lama. The painting of the Dalai Lama represents the Dalai Lama. 呃，有小小的邪恶的正义战胜邪恶的这么一个呃题材。波提切利大概画过呃大量的画，这是宗教题材的。那么呃，古希腊神话、古罗马神话的这些题材呢，是没有他的宗教题材画那么多。维纳斯的诞生村，这幅画呢，应该可以排第三。蛋彩画，它一般前面都会写着木板蛋彩画，但是这幅画它是写着布面蛋彩画。最早的是这些蛋彩画是画在木板上面的，但是木板的缺点是，当你很长时间会碎掉，而且它木板会变形，这些都会，所以木板的画保存非常的难。在那个时候，应该这个油画布啊布啊，呃油画布也开始出现了，所以有的。作品它是画在布上，有的画作品还画在木板上面。呃，很多现在他们现代的技术发展呢，他们有些画呢，把从木板上的这个这个画，把它很薄的一层把它揭下来，然后再贴到油画布上面去。Remember her? She's the lady on the poster. I checked the Uffizi Gallery's official website, and it says this painting, Portrait of a Young Woman, is also known as Bella Simonetta. Based on an early identification of the young woman as Simonetta Catanio, she married Marco Vespucci in 1469. So if you search for Simonetta Vespucci, it's also her. In the tradition of Italian portrait paintings in the early Renaissance, this lady is depicted in profile. This pose allows the artist to faithfully represent facial features, hairstyles, and clothing, all indicators of the subject's social status. There are debates among art historians as to whether Simonetta was Botticelli's model and appeared in many other paintings as well. For example, Birth of Venus. Well, do you think they look alike? I have to mention that two of Botticelli's most celebrated paintings, Primavera and The Birth of Venus, are not here as I heard they weren't allowed to leave Italy. But luckily, the Bonwan Art Museum got authorization from the Uffizi Galleries to display them. They are high-definition copies of the original paintings. Each of them were made from over 1,000 photos of the original paintings by an Italian company. So they're not part of the exhibition, but they're still worth having a look at while you are here.